Isabella, take one, A mark. My name is Isabella Lafreniere and I am from Michigan. So when I got into the company, I had just finished workshop performances for School of American Ballet. And after my workshop performance, uh, the director of School of American Ballet, Kay Mazo, uh, kind of asked to have a meeting. I walked into the office and I saw uh, then director of New York City Ballet, Peter Martins, in the office. And he said, are you ready to join the company? And for me, it was a big surprise because I was only 17 and I was expecting to have one more year at the school. And they offered me an apprenticeship, which was very exciting. I remember I had to run back to academic school at professional children's school right after the meeting, and I didn't have time to call my mom and dad. I had to go sit down and take a final, and I was just, I think I'd never taken a test so fast in my entire life because I just wanted to call my parents and tell them the great news. Something that might surprise most people is I'm an avid jump roper. <laughs> um, when I was... 10 years old, I was on a jump roping team. I would wake up really early at 6 a.m. before school started, and I would jump rope with my friends, and I loved it a lot. <laughs> and so sometimes, I, every now and then, I pick up my jump rope and I relive my glory days of being on the jump roping team. <laughs> a hero of mine is definitely my mom. Uh, I think she sacrificed so much to get uh, my family where we need to be, where I need to be, my brother and sister, and just how she balanced our schedules uh, growing up, getting us all to our different activities. It was a lot that she had to juggle, so definitely a hero of mine and still gives me the best advice to this day. Love you, Mom. <laughs> if I wasn't a dancer, I think I would definitely do something in the medical field. I've always taken an interest in how the body works and you know, physical therapy, taking care um, of people rehabbing from injuries and helping them out to get back on their feet, I think would be super rewarding and gratifying. I've also, I've had a bit of an interest in event planning. Um, I love organizing people and organizing events and where people need to be and what time they need to be there. So I don't know, maybe a wedding planner. I'm planning my own wedding right now <laughs> and I kind of like it. People say that they don't like it, but I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I could choose one ballet to dance for the rest of my life. I think it would be Balanchine's Chaconne. We performed it this fall season, and it was one of the first seasons we had a live audience after COVID, and just looking up and looking out into all the audience members um, and kind of feeling their energy and their support uh, was just a really special experience. And the ballet kind of has has it all. It has the slow, beautiful, heavenly-like pas de deux, and then it has the crisper, sharper, exciting, playful pas de deux later in the ballet. And there's so many nuances and challenges in there that can always be worked on and uh, you can make better. So definitely something I could perform the rest of my life. <laughs>